classic argument. Role play versus role play. Is it okay to allow the dice to talk for you? I'm going to have to be a filthy centrist on this one. Okay. Consider the following. When it comes to combat, we allow the dice rolls to determine pretty much everything in most games. And it is perfectly acceptable for me, who couldn't punch his way out of a wet paper bag, to play a martial arts master or a Hulk analog or whatever else it might be. Someone who is good at fighting in a way that I am not. And so I get to play out that fantasy thanks to the dice and thanks to the way in which I have constructed my character. What is, if any, the difference between that, me constructing a combat-capable character in a way that I am not competent in reality, what is the difference between that and someone creating a socially competent character? with really high charm, persuasion, deception, whatever else, even if they're not very good at that kind of thing in real life, right? They might have a terrible stutter, they might have massive social anxiety and so on, but they have the fantasy that they can be the glib, fast-talking, charming guy who gets all the girls, right? Or all the boys, or all the whatever. There's, it, it seems churlish to me that we should entirely limit the, the social side to pure RP, right? In the, the same way, it's, it, it wouldn't be fair when it comes to combat or other capabilities that a character has, like like picking a lock or something. We don't require someone to be a locksmith in order for their character to be able to pick a lock, right? Is there a difference? Yeah, there is. We're all social animals and we're all at the table to inhabit and play and immerse ourselves in the characters. So I, I understand why people think there's a difference. I just think it's a little bit unfair. Right, and we can use our imaginations. I think I would just require a little bit of effort, and the more effort the better, and maybe some bonuses to encourage people to put more effort into the role play. Um, you know, I, I swing my sword and I try to hit the guy in the head. You know, that has some mechanical implications. Maybe aim shots are more difficult or whatever. But at least you kind of declared what you're trying to do in, in your intent. And so there's no reason why someone who isn't particularly socially capable or, or verbose shouldn't be able to say, I go up and, and chat to the barmaid. I misrepresent myself as being a, a man of means and courage uh, to try and persuade her into bed. Right, and there's no reason why you shouldn't be able to make a, a role for that and provide bonuses, maybe, small ones, small ones, just small incentives for people who want to role play that out a little. You know, what what's your pickup line? What are you saying to her? Um, what's your body language? Things like that. You know, encourage people to build on that here's what I'm trying to do statement and how I'm trying to do it statement. Um, to try and chivvy people into role playing a bit more, but I don't, I don't think there is that fundamental difference. I just think it's more fun if you try and play it out when it comes to social interactions, or if you're more descriptive when it comes to combat. So I, I think it's all much for muchness and different things suit different people and we should adapt and accommodate to that. Hopefully that answers the question.